All right, in this video, we're gonna learn three ways to show or hide the activity bar. And what I mean by the activity bar is this column on the left side of the screen. So this whole thing, which I'm dragging over with my cursor, is referred to as the activity bar. So the reason you might wanna get rid of this is because it does take up a fair bit of screen real estate, and it's just good to know how to get rid of it if you so please. So without further ado, let's get into the first way to show or hide the activity bar. So the first way is to go up to view and then appearance. And there's actually quite a few options available here in appearance for other ways to customize your VS code. But the one that we're focused on today is show activity bar. And you can see how that is currently clicked. Um, and you can see how, of course, we currently have our activity bar. And so what we're going to do is click on show activity bar and we see that it has immediately disappeared. And now we can go back up to view, back to appearance, show activity bar, and you'll notice that the check mark is no longer here. So the check mark is not here when the activity bar is not showing. So we're going to click this again and our activity bar is going to show again. And of course, if you went to view appearance again, you could see that check mark there. So you can kind of verify if your activity bar is there using the check mark. The second way to show or hide the activity bar is using Command, Shift, and P. And what that'll do is pull up the search capabilities within VS Code. And all you want to do is search for the word activity bar, um, just search for the word activity even, and you'll see toggle activity bar visibility. So this is what we want to click on and you can see how the toggle has uh, hidden the activity bar. And we can run that one more time again with command shift P and we can type activity and we can click activity bar again and it's toggled it and now it is visible. The third way that we can show or hide the activity bar is using the settings.json file. If you're wondering how to pull up the settings.json file, we can use that same command of command shift P and again, pull up the search and you could pull up the settings this way. And you can see preferences, open settings, JSON, and you can click on that to open it. And actually I'll close it just so we can do it again. So we'll do command shift P and then we'll type settings. And then we want to go to preferences, open settings, JSON, and that'll open it up. And I do have a couple of different settings here, ways that I've customized my VS Code, but the one we're going to focus on today is workbench.activitybar.visible. That is the key, and the value I have here is true um, because, you know, of course, in this case, our activity bar is visible. And all you want to do is just change that true to false and save. And on save, our activity bar has disappeared. So pretty fast feedback loop. You know, we save our true and it appears. Uh, we replace and save our false and it disappears. So this way in your settings.json file, you're basically manually doing what you would otherwise do with the view or through the toggle. What's also interesting about the settings.json file, um, and note that we're on false right now, is if you did go to view appearance and show activity bar, not only did that activity bar show up, but you'll notice that uh, the value here has changed to true from false. And we can do this again just to make sure. We can go to view, appearance, show activity bar, and see that our value has changed to false for us. So one way to think of it is really that going through view or going through the toggle, um, it's actually updating the settings.json file for you so sort of more of a GUI way to do what you could otherwise do manually. So that is the third way going through your settings.json file. So this has been three ways to show hide your activity bar. Uh, just a quick tip to help clean up your VS code. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.